Whitney and Amber. Your stories aren't lining up, girls. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Now, we've talked about Amber's sister, Whitney, a few times on this channel. And I urge you to check out our last video where we had exclusively a producer confirm that, yes, Amber is the one that causes all the stress to her own sister. The allegations that Amber's saying Johnny does to her? No, 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 no. Amber's the one who does it to her sister. I've heard this from multiple sources, guys, that Whitney's very passive and does whatever her sister says. So it's just even more tragic. You can see Johnny Depp today when, when Whitney came out for her testimony as, as that Brian fellow here from Incredibly Average looks at. You can just see Johnny Depp helped and was friendly with what he called her sis. Whitney, for so long, he empathized with her suffering at the hands of Amber. This feels like the look of how can you sit there and lie like that? It, it truly did feel heartbreaking. I noticed this as well. But I got to give props out to Lou. Lou, my goodness, you stepped up during our live stream today. Christopher Melcher uh, was putting some things out about uh, Whitney. And man, you stepped up. We all reacted live. But I wanted to go find these clips directly. And Lou, you are spot on. Now, you guys remember the stare incident, right? I want to show what Lou just figured out together. Now, here's Amber, okay? Amber's going to tell you her side of things. I want you to hear it from her first, and then I'm going to reenact it with some toys. Johnny swings at her. Whitney. And I just see my little sister with her back on, face, her back to the staircase. And Johnny swings at her, and I don't even wait. Don't even wait for any other, I don't hesitate, I don't wait, I just in my head instantly think of Kate Moss and the stairs and I swung at him. It's the first time she ever did it, right? Okay, so here we go, guys, I have the, here's the stairs, here's Whitney, okay? Lurleen Lumpkin's playing Whitney, and here's Johnny, got my, my Jack Sparrow. Hey, Whitney, I'm gonna push you down the stairs. No! All right, so that's, we got that, right? That's how uh, Amber's been selling it to everybody. All right, that sounds scary. Let's hear Whitney tell the same story, shall we, guys? So Johnny then hurls a Red Bull can and it hits Debbie. Yeah, this now, first of all, she Debbie says this didn't happen. React. She didn't really seem to notice. This didn't happen, and I actually um, got to point that out. Debbie and many others said it never happened, so now Whitney just added in. She didn't even seem to notice. Again, it feels so coached. Why, why say that when it's been such a, you know, a lot of people asking, well, she said no. Well, she didn't even seem to notice. So, so many over details. It just feels like it's fake. Look at that face. She's just, oh, girl, why are you purging yourself? Anyway, here's Whitney's version of the stairs. But I'm, I'm standing up there talking. Or I'm standing up there. I'm at the top of the stairs with my back to the stairs. Okay, back to and the stairs that's again. And when Johnny runs up the stairs. Wait, what? And... My again, I'm facing Amber. He comes up behind me. Okay. Strikes me in the back. Oh no! I Just fell in front of the stairs. The not Amber shout down, down the stairs. Oh my stairs. God! Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Uh, again. Here's the stairs. Okay. We got. The, oh no! She's standing with her back towards the stairs. All right. And then here comes Johnny. This time up the stairs. Uh. I'm gonna throw you down these stairs, but I'm in the way, so how am I, how am I gonna throw you down and push you down if I'm standing here? You're gonna have to... Uh, uh, uh. How the hell is that gonna work? Who's telling the truth now? Whitney! <laughs> why were you... Why do you keep covering for... You just perjured yourself! One of you did. You both just told different stories. It doesn't make any sense now. The stairs thing makes no sense now. He came up the stairs to push her down? Because she says he pushed her in the back. And again, I want you to see that. Both of them spelled it out. It's not like he she's on the back of the stairs and then he gets all the way up there and is like, whoa, 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 hey, come here. I'm going to get in front of you on these stairs and then turn around and then you're back's gonna be bought because I gotta push you in the back and then you fell that no that's not what she said she was staying up there and he came back and punched her back when you punched you push someone at the back of a stairwell and you're facing this side you're gonna fall this way not down the stairs and I'm glad I have a stairs playset for my Encanto playset to really hit that home I mean <laughs> we 
Whitney. Now, this isn't the first thing Whitney did wrong. Uh, and it's also not the first time she's lied about the stairs. This Jennifer Howell that we keep talking about. Jennifer Howell uh, is a uh, person she worked with, this Art of Elysium. It's come up a few times. Now, uh, Whitney, who called her my chosen sister, Whitney called this woman Jennifer her chosen, his sister, um, worked for her in this nonprofit, found it 22 years ago. Uh, she volunteered for six months. She worked full, as a full paid time employee. I've learned Whitney testified in London about this incident, the stairs. She testified that Johnny, you know, da 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 da. Then Whitney said she had to go live in her employer where she had to sleep on the floor. I'm that employer. This is not what I, what I was told to be true. First, Whitney came to live in the guest room, not my floor. Uh, Whitney told me she tried to stop her sister from blanking and Johnny on the stairs. Whitney said when she tried to intervene to stop Amber... From going after Johnny, Amber nearly pushed Whitney down the stairs. Huh, you don't say. She told me she was worried. You can read this uh, yourself, these words right here. Boom. I mean, she had to endure this her whole life from her father and then Amber, who was extremely V. She lived with me because she did not feel she'd go back to the Eastern Columbia building. My father reminded me this morning that I told him Whitney had moved in with me because she's terrified of her sister. Johnny kept checking in on her, how she was doing. He called her sis. She, she called him brother. Whitney said to me multiple occasions that she did not know why he was staying in the relationship, nor why he was putting up with Amber's A, B, S, C it there. Whitney shared with me the damage endured by both her and Amber's children and the injuries suffered Amber from Amber psychologically. And his, Whitney was devastated during this time. It broke my heart. Uh, she shared with me and everyone in the office that Amber freaked out. Whitney threw a wine glass, yada, yada, yada. Multiple people were there. Whitney was even in the office saying, uh, during this, oh my God, he's done it. She cut off his effing finger. And then she talks about the mother, Paige's page, uh, Wh Whitney and Amber's mother, and how she goes on about Elon Musk and embryos and bug Teslas and everything else. Uh, the, the dog smuggling. Amber was in trouble. She asked me to write a letter of character support, which I did. I wrote it on behalf. Uh, when they were divorcing, I learned uh, sh there were proceeds supposed to go to charity. None of it went to the Art of Elysium, which Amber had been closely associated. Instead, it would go to the ACL. I asked her publicist when she was uh, eager to why she was so eager to use our name and press during the divorce, and when funds would be mean so much to a small organization. Instead, she uh, decided to do the huge charities. Amber's publicist told me that they were more prominent charities for more significant press reach. <laughs> Months later, two hundred fifty thousand dollar. Comes an anonymous donor on behalf of Amber. The funds did not come from Amber. I believe this donation came from Elon. Uh, years later, I received two subpoenas from the attorney. Whitney testified uh, the following day I spoke with Johnny's attorney for the first time. I told him the stories of my experience with Whitney, Paige, Amber. I shared the names of Art Elysium staff who worked during the same time as Whitney, who also heard these things and more, and willingly gave access to my emails, texts, to confirm dates and timelines of all stated. Uh, I, per, you know, I say this all under perjury of law. There it is. Signed, Jennifer Howell. So this witness is pretty huge, I would say. Pretty huge witness that is going to expose a lot. And this is a witness that did come up today, uh, well, yesterday, last night, on the stand. <clears throat> you know who Jennifer Howell is, right, Ms. Enriquez? I do. She's the founder of the Art of Elysium nonprofit. She is. And you worked there for a time, didn't you? I did. Around May 2015, you actually moved in with Ms. Howell, right? May 2015? Yes. And you moved out of the penthouses because at that point you and your sister were fighting, right? It was, yeah, it was around the time that, you know, he had accused me of leaking stories. And that was the impetus of me leaving. Yeah, she, look at the looking down. She's so nervous. Oh, yeah, yeah, She's just lying. She's told so many people about her sister. And this Jennifer Howell, we didn't really get the information today. But I'm hoping this was all just a play. Let's get this up, tee it up, and then on the redirect, bam! They got him! They got him! Because they just got themselves. How do you tell that story differently? How do you how do you fall down the stairs this way at the top of the stair? 
What do you think? Am I crazy? Uh, again, shout out to Lou Bravo for tipping off Christopher Melcher. Uh, bravo, bravo. I wanted to make sure we spotlighted this. Do you? What do you think? Did Lou find something there? Did we all miss it? Did you catch it? I want to hear your thoughts before you do in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for alerts, smash that like button, and yes, leave your comments on your theories down below. What do you think? Did Lou catch this? Is Whitney lying? Tell us all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click these videos as well, and we will see you soon after every trial day and beyond here on Popcorn Planet.